Tensions are running high right now. This quarantine's got me crazy to the point where I tried to trim my beard and I end up chopping off a chunk. No beard, this is just face. And leaving this Jim the Anvil Nightheart goatee just chilling. My hair's a mess, my mind's a mess. Uh. So I figured, let me put y'all on to 10 fragrances that I think are smooth, soothing, soft, fresh out of the shower kind of feeling, just to calm our nerves a little bit because I'm going fucking crazy. Let's roll my motherfucking music so I can put you on to these fragrances and hopefully I can feel a little namaste in my life. Plus, good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, c 3 u 3 b 3 a a.k.a. Quarantine Cuba. As usual with these 10 lists, I don't enjoy doing them because then you got to give a whole note breakdown and just give the whole mathematics, chemical compositions and all that. I don't have the brain power or energy to do that. I'm going to put you onto fragrances that I think are fresh, soothing, slightly aromatherapeutic, fresh out of the shower, smell like dryer sheets, just that comforting snuggle feeling that we all need right now in these times because I'm losing my mind. So the first fragrance you might know that I love is none other than from the Banana Republic Icon line, it's Linen Vetiver. I've ranted and raved, and I don't even know how many videos this joint has been in, but it just does the job. It's such a sweet, soft, green, dryer sheet, fresh out of the shower, soft vetiver that just makes you feel all perfect for the spring and summertime. Has great performance, and I like I've said many a times, the Banana Republic Icon line is absolutely ill. And this one is by far my favorite from that line. This is just perfect for me. Banana Republic Linen Vetiver, if you don't have it, find it. If you like that soft, beautiful, shockingly green and good quality fragrance, this is it. Next one. Another popular staple, fresh out of the shower, super clean fragrance is none other than Mugler Cologne. It's just that, super clean, green, citrusy, bright, soft, not too aggressive, has a decent amount of performance, and is such a safe, soft bet for the warm weather that you can wear this around your quarantine crib and not worry about your wife slapping you or throwing a full-blown thong sandal at your cerebellum in the middle of watching Netflix. Not that that's happened to me, I'm just speaking hypothetically. Super soft, not offensive, good for wearing around the house, because let's face it, you're not going anywhere for a while. Next one. Now we just taking it from super cheap to damn near bougie by the House of Fragrance Dubois. This is Petales de Cashmere. Super soft, elegant, expensive cashmere sweater or cashmere scarf completely draped around you. This is definitely a versatile fresh fragrance catered more to the spring and summer and maybe for the autumn time. This is just such a soft, very fluffy smelling, amazing fresh laundry, soft floral, white, soothing, aromatherapeutic, just chill. If they made a candle of this fragrance, it would be your illest smelling crib candle ever. This is just such a beautiful fragrance. It's just a little fucking pricey. Anything fragrance Dubois, you better CTC cut the cheese check because these joints is not cheap but they're amazing quality and even the little bit of oud potent that's in here there's nothing stinky or animalic about it it's actually so soft and comforting and if you got that kind of bread petales de cashmere is lady five titties next one when i think of so fresh so clean i think of fresh shape up which i need one fresh haircut i need one fresh fix up on the beard i need one and then barbershop fragrances sometimes are a little sharp but if you want something smooth and robust and round you get a little mfk masculine beauty it just smells smooth you just took the cape off you just got a fresh cut you feeling your best you don't smell like bo or you've been in a sweat room with 13 greeks that haven't showered in six weeks me being one of them and then you got this beautiful smelling sensation that is really lit i think this fragrance is absolutely stellar a great barbershop fragrance that isn't offensive, isn't sharp, isn't too meh. But it's a little bit expensive, but again, it just is smooth. Something fresh, clean, no sharpness, and barbershop swag, this does it. Next one. This fragrance I automatically associated with the BMW waiting area in Manhattan, and the fragrance is none other than Wood Sage and Sea Salt by Joe Malone. Love that first sniff when I sniffed it in the air. It's a light woody essence, a little bit salty. You definitely sense the sage for sure, hence 
wood, sage, and sea salt. But it's also very aromatic, very clean smelling, hence why I feel that they use it in the BMW waiting area because it's very soothing, it's very calming. It has this nurturing feeling about it that just makes it very appealing, but not like a sexual deviant or like super sexy. It's more, again, soothing, chill, let me wait before they bring me the bill because I know that one tire cost me $760 plus the $500 an hour that they're gonna charge me and then something's gonna magically break and I'm gonna need all the calming smells that I can. There's also a nice bouquet of white florals here that's just really bright and inviting and really, really pretty. I think this is a great unisex fragrance, perfect for the hot weather and trust me, once you get your paws on this joint, you're gonna love the way that it smells. Next one. Talk about another fragrance that was truly loved at first sniff and was very impressive upon smelling and this is from Perfumology and this one's called Leima. For me, Leima is like if you were to bring Little House on the Prairie to life. A little girl or little boy frolicking, playing in a back cottage, huge yard with acres and acres of land, of beautiful flowers, sunflowers growing from the floor, the tall green grass, beautiful fresh air, no city smog, sweet, very comforting, nurturing. It's just like a grandma's hug. You feel that just warmth and brightness and citrusy, but you're very floral, but you're not smelling like an old grandma who's drenched in Bengay, Tiger Balm. It smells like beautiful florals picked, playing outside, hot weather, but it's got that cool, brisk air coming through. Leima was super, super impressive when I smelled this fragrance. Not only that, it did super well on the performance factor, which for perfumology, for a store to produce this kind of quality fragrance, it was very impressive. So Leima, it's definitely fresh and clean. Next one. Sometimes we like a little bit of depth in our fresh and clean vibe and something that Nissan A could definitely bring with Ambra Calibria. Something about that fresh yellow or green colored Play-Doh vibe that I get from this fragrance that just makes me happy, makes me feel childish and playful and just want to hang out with my kid and act like a fucking eight-year-old, which it's not far-fetched because that's what I do all the time. Very bright, very bergamot -y, has a vanilla essence, nice, beautiful crystallized amber. You got that Calibria citrus flowing. Super, super nice. Again, this is just a little bit of brightness with some mild, mild darkness that helps provide some depth to this little bit of freshness. Oh, I need a drink right now, but this is something you can sit down with a little sangrilla or margarita, just curbside chilling, having brunch when you know you can actually leave the house. I'm going cabin crazy. Ambre Calibria, let me wear you outside, next one. The next one is another feeling that I want to be outside running through Central Park, not stepping on dog shit, but still running through in like some nice linen shorts where my package is just flapping everywhere. Let's be honest, it's more like flapping everywhere. This fragrance is absolutely perfect, represents New York to the fullest, and that's Kieran NYC's 10 a.m. flirt. Now my bottle's looking like shit. It's got chips all over it because I manhandle most of my things. Definitely one of my favorites from the Kieran NYC line. Super bright, very green. Citrusy, again, outdoorsy, Central Park, under a beautiful tree, the only shade in the park that you can sit down and read a book, can't read. You can watch beautiful women walk by with their sundresses. I can't look at other women, I'm married. And you can just watch little kids living their best life throwing a ball around. I don't wanna be around any other kids except mine. So this is a perfect fragrance for the summertime. Also very nice, no sharp edges, very green, beautiful, citrusy. Has a little bit of a green Irish tweed vibe, but not really. Really, mm, it has some similarities, but nevertheless, absolutely perfect. Soothing, soft, fresh and clean. Next one. This fragrance, I love this fragrance when the warm weather comes around. This one is from Etat Libre the Orange, and it's you or someone like you. Talk about a gorgeous, minty, little spicy cocktail. The mint in here is some of the most epic mint in the affordable category that you can get your fucking nose on. It's so beautiful and fresh. You legit crushed this mint and you were in the middle of making a mojito rimmed up, ready to swallow it down. Rimmed up and swallowed it down. Wow, how inappropriate. This is just a minty, fresh anise, slightly floral, but very bright, very smooth, very soothing, and also cost effective with amazing quality and longevity. A Tat Libre DRN just knocked it out of the park with this one. If you're someone who's into minty fragrances with a beautiful freshness, you are someone like you with something that you can get, and you can get a little 30 ml like this and still rock it out. Cheap, good, minty. Next one. And last and certainly not least, again, these are not in no particular order, but this one's a newer acquisition that I haven't gotten to test as much as I can, but as soon as I smelled it, it was a beautiful tea-based fragrance that I truly enjoyed, and it's by the House of Guerlain, and it's the Aqua Allegoria Tiazura. 
beautiful bottle and really simplistic. This is a green tea note, but for me it smells more like a white tea with a white floral, vanillic notes, and just a little bit of a musky base. It's really a simple fragrance that's just citrusy, bright tea, white floral, musky, not a complicated fragrance. It performs very well. The tea in it is very bright, along with that citrus that just helps it enhance the brightness, but then you got the muskiness that provides it a little bit of longevity and power on your skin. Guerlain is known for making absolutely epic fragrances from the ones I've smelled. I know very well that they make beautiful nutty fragrances. This, is, this one's going in a completely different direction, and it has that little bit of oriental essence that I like that just keeps my mental intact, because you can go fucking crazy nowadays. And that's it, my peoples. That's 10 fragrances that I feel are so fresh, so clean, very smooth, inviting. And let's just put a little positive spin on this shit. I know we're going through a crazy ass time and we gotta try to look at the bright side of every situation. And this one, hopefully this whole shit comes down and we can get back to a level of normalcy where our mental health can get back into a centered focus realm. We can get more outside, associate with people without feeling unnerving or unsettling. It is gonna take some time, but we gonna get through it. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. All these joints is ball sprays and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is. It's Quarantine Cuba in the clutch. Ah, oh, smooches. Fly gun holder, money folder, motor roller, star tack when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.